Aloha and good morning, everyone. And thank you, Stacy, for such a warm introduction and for all of your hard work and support in Washington and here. When I look at you, Stacy, I cannot help but think you're exactly what many of us struggled for so long to see. You are a young woman who is setting out to do it all. <laughs> Finishing school, embarking on a promising career, be a lawyer, starting a family, baby coming, and all here at home in Hawaii. You are a glimpse of a dream that's still possible for your generation, a dream that many of the generations that preceded you also had. What it will take to make that dream a common reality? Well, isn't that what we're here for this morning? Yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about. I want to thank all of you for joining us here today and being part of the formal launch of my campaign. I am deeply honored to see Governor Cayetano. And Governor Ariyoshi is on his way, as well as leaders and members of our Hawaii State Legislature city council, members, labor leaders, members and representatives from our local business community and our community at large. I stand here today thinking about Hawaii's future, about how we as a community envision our state, not just in 2018, but in the years and decades ahead for Stacy's generation and of course, baby's generation and the generations to come. I'm thinking about these things because at the highest level of state government today, there is a deeply troubling lack of leadership and vision. There is a profound sense that we are adrift and rudderless, with decisions made by just a small circle of people with no indication as to who's really in charge. Meanwhile, the challenges facing our state and communities go unanswered day after day. In fact, the problems grow worse through inattention, through indecision, and through inaction. We cannot wait. We cannot wait another four years for leadership in the governor's office. We cannot wait as more and more of our young people, discouraged by the future they see for themselves here, leave Hawaii in hopes of better opportunities on the mainland. We cannot wait to deliver better support for public education and for our students and teachers from our elementary schools to our universities. We cannot wait while our highways and harbors crumble before our eyes. We cannot wait while inefficiency and poor management cripple state operations and capital improvements, while millions of taxpayer dollars are wasted and precious time is lost with no accountability at any level. We cannot wait while our parks are occupied and vandalized and the response from state government is to close them down, post armed guards, and turn families away from the public places that belong to our children. We cannot wait while little by little we lose the Hawaii we know and we all love. For those reasons and more, today I am running for the privilege of being the governor of the state of Hawaii. Thank you. I am running for governor because I believe the people of Hawaii deserve better. It is time to step up, take action, and move ahead. We need to take action to create more affordable housing for our families and our seniors, not only luxury penthouses for the super rich. We need to attract and support businesses that create well-paying, long-term jobs for our people. We need to invest more in our aging infrastructure, from bridges and highways to harbors and airports. We must stand up for public education and Hawaii students and teachers and stop the micromanagement by a small clique of advisors 
that only impedes needed progress. Solving homelessness requires that the state be much more than a passive coordinator. We must actively lead and show true partnership with the counties to address statewide issues. We must run state operation expecting excellence and accountability. Whether we're upgrading an IT system at the tax department or building a hangar at the airport. And we must manage the state budget with clarity and openness. I expect taxpayers to hold me accountable for our priorities and by demonstrating fiscal discipline and smart management. But, but make no mistake, despite our challenges, I believe we have a great reason to be hopeful for our future. Here in Hawaii, we pride ourselves on our homegrown solutions, our commitment to public education, our near universal health care, our treatment of women in the workplace, and our support of the rights of those from every background. This all stands as testament to our ability to work together to solve challenges that confound others. I believe it is time, as generations before us have done, to rise again to face the challenge that requires leadership, a strong vision, and most of all, action, decisions. That is why I'm coming home, and that is why I'm running for governor. to you my tireless efforts to protect, serve, and improve this very special place we call home. There is much to do, and in the months ahead, I look forward to listening to your concerns, sharing my vision, and forging a way forward together. For all of us, for our Hawaii, mahalo for your support. Woo